This is the city. Every day, hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands and thousands of people come here and they talk and they walk and they're thinking about what can they buy and how can they sell it. Now this is where business is done, the marketplace. It's full of goods and services, the old model of waiting for customers to show up. However, that's given way to other ways of reaching out. Some salespeople go door to door. Other salespeople use modern technology. The easiest, most efficient way of getting your foot in the door is by using the dreaded hairy beast, the telephone. It's what drives inside and outside sales reps to find customers. While an outside salesperson can do about five appointments a day, the telephone can contact more than 10 people in an hour. I know, when you first look at this thing called the telephone, you see it as a hairy, slimy beast. Something that's just too, too icky to touch. What you should really see is that it is a cash box waiting for you to cash in. The fear of using the telephone to call people or businesses that you're not familiar with, well, that's real. But remember this, the other person at the other end doesn't know you has never seen you and may one day pass you on the street and will never know that he or she may have spoken with you before. All you really want to do is make a few phone calls a day. Now what do you ask when you call a potential customer? Well, here's how you get started when they answer the phone. Introduce yourself and the company. Assure them that you're not calling to sell them anything. Do not ask them how they're doing. You may not like their answer. Ask some questions to discover their needs. Listen and acknowledge their statements. Find out a little bit about them before talking about your product or service. Listen for buying signals. Now those are words where they agree with you or they say positive things about your product. Then go for the close. Closing is the key to success in any business, but there are a multitude of techniques to close a sale. Closing is what separates the sales pros from everyone else. If you can't close, then you need to pack up and go home. If you use closing statements and closing techniques properly, then that telephone that you're so afraid of will turn into a mini ATM machine. Now, I'm not going to go into closing secrets of success now. You'll have to get my entire series of DVDs on winning and selling. But you have to decide if you want to be a winner or not. So if you're in sales and you want to make a lot of money, you have two choices. You can run with the big dogs or you can stay on the street.